All right, so uh, this is going to be similar to the last video uh, where we're finding the other trig functions. Uh, this time we're given two of them. Uh, we, I'll, I'll start here just to, to kind of show you what I'm talking about, what I'm going to do. So cosecant of A is equal to 9 over 5. All right, that means that sine of A, remember it's the reciprocal of cosecant, sine of A is going to equal 5 over 9. Now, uh, with this, we could go ahead and, you know, draw a little right triangle and call one of these sides angle A and kind of work it like we did the last one. Uh, the way I'm going to do it this time, because they give us uh, two of the functions, all right, a specific two, I guess, uh, we're going to be able to use that and no triangle to find the, uh, the others. So, all right, so if cotangent is equal to this, that means that tangent is equal to 5 over root 56. All right. So with these pieces right here, we're going to be able to fill in the other two. Uh, cosine and secant. All right. Obviously, these two are just reciprocals of each other. All right. So because we know that tangent... Uh, is 5 over this, and tangent is equal to opposite over the adjacent, All right, and sine is equal to the, sorry, sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. I can kind of uh, pull from each of these to figure out my cosine. So remember, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, the hypotenuse is going to be a 9 here, and the adjacent side is going to be this root 56, yeah, square root of 56, and I don't have to do any of those triangles, right? So hopefully you saw what I did there. You know, I just thought of it as opposite over hypotenuse because that's the definition of sine, and I thought about tangent as opposite over adjacent. So this tells me my adjacent is root 56. All right, and then secant, that's just going to be the flip of this one. So 9 over root 56. And that's really all you need to do with this one. So uh, you can pause it. You can stop the video here if you want to. <clears throat> just as an exercise, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this 9 over root 56. All right, so 56, that is the same as 4 and 14. Let me make sure here. Yeah, 56 divided by 4. Yeah, 14. All right, so I could think of, uh, you know, I pull out my 4 here, and that's going to be rewritten as 9 over, see the foot square root of 4 is 2, and square root of 14. All right, and then, you know, if we wanted to rationalize the denominator here, we'd multiply by root 14, root 14, uh, that's going to give us a 9, root 14 on top, and then on the bottom, uh, root 14 and root 14 makes 28, and then 28, uh, I'm sorry, root 14 and root 14 makes 14, and then 14 times 2 is 28. Alright, so I just took that secant answer there and I rewrote it so that there's no radical in the bottom.